Welcome to Bekati Podcast. Welcome to another episode of our podcast. Today we're going to look at how to answer essay questions on blossoms of the savanna using a very simple approach. The question on many people's minds would be, what is the best approach for students to use when responding to KCSE questions on blossoms of the savanna? And we think that it's very, very, very simple once they understand the dynamics of the setting and marking. Anyway, one thing that must be said is that students must really be exposed to intensive reading of the text because writing a mess in essays depends on the mastery of the text. A learner must know the events happening in the text, the characters, the actions they're involved in, the outcome, and maybe the embedded moral lessons. Now, the objective of studying literature in the Kenyan curriculum is to help the learners acquire moral values. Let us look at it this way. Blossoms of the Savannah has both good and bad characters. The good characters like Minik and Enkoitoi, Nabaru, the Enkabaani, the nurse, and Rezian are always rewarded for their virtuous acts, whereas the bad characters like Oloisudori, Olarinkoi, and Olekaelo are always fail to achieve the objectives. Joseph Parmuat is a good character, isn't he? He is a sturdy, industrious young man who respects the Nasila traditions. But why is he severely punished by being condemned to death? The answer is simple. Nasila has both positive and negative cultural practices. Kinship ties and respect among members of the same clan is to be upheld. Ole Kulet could not allow Taio's illicit infatuation for Joseph Pamwat to grow any further. He suffers for a sin that is not entirely his. The take-home message here is kinship ties have to be upheld and respected. Therefore, literature is basically a conflict between good forces and bad forces. There is no in-between. Virtues are rewarded, whereas vices are punished. For instance, Rezian's determination pays off. She encounters challenges and hurdles, but she fights resolutely and achieves her dream of enrolling at Edgerton University to pursue veterinary medicine. Olarinkoi is punished for his cruelty to Rezian. He fails to marry her. He is also forced into hiding due to shame after he unsuccessfully attempts to rape her. Now, what should we consider when setting a KCSC essay based on blossoms of the savannah? One, phrasing of the question. The question must have a value statement and an outcome, which is is usually a reward or a punishment. Two, the embedded morals. The text is divided into virtues and vices. For example, the ones we have, the values we have in Blossoms of the Savannah include determination, family values, selflessness, betrayal, among others. Three, accessibility of the question. Can the learners relate to the question? Can the learners understand the demands of the question and can they appreciate the moral value in the question? Four, the marking points. Five, possible relevant episodes. Six, details in the episode, and that is the situation, the characters, the actions or activities of the characters, the reactions by other characters, and also what we feel as readers, the outcomes and the moral values. Then seven, 
the two sides of the question. For example, determination never goes unrewarded. So we have determination and if you are determined, you must be rewarded. Or selfish individuals are always uh, bound to fail. Selfish individuals are always bound to fail. So we have selfish individuals and their failures. Essay questions on blossoms of the savanna test three skills, that is analysis. In analysis, you have to really just read the text critically to get the minute details. For example, Uncle Simiren has four wives and 16 children. Olarinkoi's village is called Inkiito. Parmuat is a member of the Ilmolelian clan and Olekaelo receives 500,000 shillings from Oloisudori. Two, the second skill is synthesis. And here we need to gather several events in order to come up with a judgment. For example, Ole Kaelo denies Taio a chance to perform at the extravaganza. He also plans to marry Ofrezian to an old criminal because of money. Three, the third skill tested is evaluation, and this is making judgments or conclusions based on inform information beg your pardon, information acquired. Since Olekaelo puts his needs before the needs of his daughters uh, for material gain, we can conclude that he is not only materialistic but also selfish. Consider uh, the two sides of the question. So apart from the uh, apart from revolving around moral values in the text, a key CSE essay question on blossoms of the savanna usually encompasses two sides. You can identify the two sides by underlining the keywords in the question. The second side is usually an outcome. Since questions have two sides, the learner's answers must also bring out the two sides fully. Remember to show the link or relationship between the two sides. For example, determination leads to victory. Citing illustrations from Blossoms of the Savannah, write an essay to validate this statement. The keywords here are determination and victory. While responding to the question above, learners should discuss about a resolute or determined character with supporting illustrations from the text. Identify the qualities, actions, or activities that depict the character as being determined. After that, they ought to demonstrate how this determination leads to victory. Show the determination and go all the way until we see the victory. The victory must be as a result of the determination. Uh, another example. Selfish individuals are always bound to fail. Basing your argument on H. E. Olekulet's Blossoms of the Savannah, write an essay to qualify this assertion. The keywords in the question above are selfish and fail. So show the selfishness and the failure. Discuss about an individual who shows concern only for himself or herself and not the needs of others. Support this claim with relevant illustrations from the text. What actions show that the character is selfish? After that, demonstrate how this selfishness uh, leads to the character's ultimate failure. In the questions above, the moral values of determination, which is a virtue, and selfishness, which is a vice, are highlighted. So what is the episodic approach and how useful is it in the analysis of Blossoms of the Savannah? This is whereby a text is divided into smaller parts of important events that help to build the plot and highlight the thematic concerns. It helps the learners to master the plot, understand the characters, identify the themes and appreciate the language use. Since English Paper 3 is mainly concerned with moral values and the candidate's ability to communicate in writing, this is the best approach to use when handling Paper 3 set books. How do we identify episodes in a text? One, identify an event. Then, 
who are the characters involved in that event. Then ask yourself, what actions or activities are they involved in? Then ask yourself, how do the characters react to those events? Then lastly, what is the moral lesson to be acquired from that particular event? Now, let us look at some of the episodes found in Blossoms of the Savannah. One, Journey to Nasila, page one to page ten. Two, the reception at Nasila, page twenty, page ten to page twenty. I beg your pardon. Three, Olekaelo's meeting with Olesupeo, page twenty to twenty one. Four, arrival at Olekaelo's new home, page twenty seven to page thirty six. Five, Olekaelo's homecoming party, page thirty-seven to fifty-three. Six, the aftermath of the party, and that is the disturbing thoughts about FGM and marriage, page fifty-four to sixty-three. Seven, the tale of Olarinkoi and Ilarinkon warriors, page eighty-one to eighty-seven. Eight, Oloisudori visits the Kaelos, and that is on page 92 to 103. Nine, Ole Kaelos' dilemma over Oloisudori's demand to marry Rezian. That is on page 107 to 114. Ten, Mama Milanoi's flashback about Amora's men. Page 115 to 118. Eleven, Pamwat teaches Rezian and Tayo about culture love page 122 to 129 12 tayo and parmuat uh, love confessions and parmuat's retraction and conviction page 130 to 137 13. Rezian and Taio accosted by two vagabonds. That is on page 140 to 141. 14. Rezian and Taio stay at Uncle Simiren's place. That is page 148 to 155. 15. Search party and punishment for Ntara, Moyo, and Lante. Page 156 to 163. 16. Oloisudori's second visit. And that is on page 176 to 180. 17, Ole Kaelo and Mama Milanoi visit Oloisudori's palatial homes in Naivasha and Nakuru. And the plan to abduct Rezian is hatched. That is on page 185 to 191. 18, Rezian's nasty encounter with Oloisudori, page 201 to 205. 19, Rezian's escape and suicidal thoughts. Page 205 to page 210. Page, uh, episode number 20. Rezian's harrowing journey to Inkiito. That is Olarinkoi's village. Page 212 to page 216. Episode 21. Olarinkoi tries to rape Rezian. Page 221. 22. Rezian meets Enkabani Nabaru, that is on page 225, and the mono eyed Enkoiboni on page 227. 23, Escape from Inkito, page 246 to 253. 24, Rezian meets Minik and Enkoitoi, page 255. 25, Rezian's rescue from Esoit village, page 270 to 271. 26, Tayo circumcision at Esoit village, page 272 to 273. 27, Minik and Enkoito's confrontation with Oloisudori, page 282 to 283. And finally, the last episode in our case is episode 28 of To Edgerton University, and that is on page 284. Now, you can also come up with your own episodes. It's not a fixed affair. You don't have to stick to those ones. You can come up with episodes on your own to help you understand the book better. 